decided by a grand jury, you have the right to a preliminary hearing or second appearance. However, if you are released on bond, this shall be a waiver of that right to the preliminary hearing. So if you understand your rights, as I shared them with you, you see, you would please sign here for me. Sign here. This is where I'll take your paperwork down to the Superior Court Judge's office. And signature here, both small lines. Signature here is where my court is not able to give you a bond today. Thank you, Ms. Oates. We're going to finish here. They'll have to have some final files. If you have any questions, please also help me with some direction. May I ask you a question? You can't issue a bond today for what reason? Because these charges fall under the brick code. And if you want to say so, I'll be ready to pass this on to the Supreme Court. All right. Which is your prerogative, and so I'll have to file a petition for that. That'd be great. Thank you. I apologize, uh, Ms. Tasia Oglesby. Hello, Ms. Oglesby. Ms. Oglesby, my name is Thomas Jordan. I'm the Chief Magistrate Court Judge. This is your first appearance hearing on this specific offense. I'm here only to inform you of your rights and get your paperwork moving, okay? Ms. Oglesby, you have the right to remain silent, give up that right, any statement that you make could be used against you. You have the right to run an attorney. If you cannot afford one, you fill out an application to see if you qualify as a public defender. Ms. Oglesby, you've been charged with the offense of RICO racketeering. You understand what this offense is? It's not a trial if you're guilty or not guilty. Only that you understand what the offense is. Thank you. You have the right to a trial by jury. You have the right to be indicted by a grand jury. You have the right to a preliminary hearing. However, if you are released on bond, this shall be a waiver of that right to the preliminary hearing. If you understand your rights as I shared them with you, if you would please sign here for me. So if you'll sign here where I'll take your paperwork down to the Superior Court Judge's office. So if you're here, you'll sign here. My court has waived the bond to the Superior Court on the RICO charge process. Yes, ma'am, top line. A little small, but we'll run it out there. The Metro Court is deferring the bond issue before the Superior Court. He's not going to issue a bond in light of the charge you're facing. He's going to defer to the Superior Court judge. And the lawyers who get involved in the case will be filing a petition for a bond. Okay? Thank you. May I ask you how far along are you? 30 minutes. Are you feeling okay? Okay. I think maybe we can make an exception. Wow. I should know this. Okay. I'm missing a piece of bone. Hello. Hello. Okay. 
Ms. Ellingsby, my name is Thomas Jordan. I'm the Chief Magistrate Court Judge. This is your first appearance here on this specific offense. I'm here only to inform you of your rights, get your bond set, and get your paperwork made, okay? You have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right, any statement that you make could be used against you. You have the right to run an attorney. If you cannot afford one, you fill out an application to see if you qualify for the public defender. Because those who have been charged with offense of obstruction of an officer. You understand what this offense is? Thank you. You have the right to a trial by jury. You have the right to be indicted by a grand jury. You have the right to a preliminary hearing or second appearance. However, if you are released on bond, there shall be a waiver of that right to the preliminary hearing. As I to be, if you understand your rights, as I shared them with you, you would please sign here for me. Judge Jordan, while she's signing that, is this the misdemeanor? It is. And isn't she entitled to a bond as a matter of rights? She's the she gave me. Okay. I thought you were going to do that. No, that's a different one. Thank you. Ms. Overby, your bond has been set at $1,500. While you're out on bond, let's keep the current address and telephone number. If these two numbers change, please allow the Sheriff's Office to know. While you're out on bond, let's not violate any laws of these states, possessing the dangerous weapons, and those of the drink and alcohol beverage use, possession of our drugs. Any additional criminal charges brought back before this court, I won't be able to give you another bond. For mailing purposes only, a little small line here, but signature on the top. After your signature, an address, and a phone number anywhere across the bottom will be fine. I don't have my cell phone, so I don't think they can call me. They have to get your number before you get released. The officers have to do that. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Ellis, do you have like a, your parents' number or something that somebody could get in touch with you? Okay. No. All right. Now we'll be right. provided. Please all take care of having any questions. Get a phone call. Just a little bit.